Looking for a place to stay tonight? This is the question we face every single day when we're out here on the road. My name's Kevin, I'm a driver for Creek Carrier. Over the road, I'm out 21 days at a time, sometimes more, and this is the joy of trucking. Hit that subscribe button, sit back, I got a story for you. We're sitting in a terminal a couple of nights ago, and Tanya gets, you know, she's looking at the comments on the videos, and she got this message and she read it out. It was a new driver, he'd only been over the road for a couple of weeks, and he was asking, what do you do when all the truck stops are full and it's late at night and you can't find a place to stay? And we happen to be sitting in a room, having a chat in a circle with three or four other drivers that are very experienced. They've been doing it for decades, right? So we had a whole list of responses and she, she tried to answer the guy with a lot of helpful tips, but I thought, what a great idea for a video. So let's talk about this. Like I said, every day you're out here on the road, you're far from home. At the end of the day, you gotta find a place to sleep for the night, right? And we all face it. It's, a, it's the same question every day. You're in many different places. Sometimes you're in places you've never been before. You don't know what's a good spot, a bad spot, a dirty truck stop, a dirt lot on the side of the road, whatever. There's so many options and sometimes they all run out and you're looking for a place. So here's what we came up with. Our number one tool, the best thing we use is Trucker Path. It's an app, you put it on your phone. There's a free version, you don't even have to pay for it or you can get the upgraded version with a lot of cool stuff. But one of the things about Trucker Path is it shows you places to stay for the night. It lists the, the truck stops, like the, you know, the, big, the big ones, the chains, but even the mom and pops, even the little, you know, America Best. Uh, if there's a shell station that has like two or three spots behind it there where a guy might find a spot, it'll show you that. All kinds of places. I've even stayed on dirt lots uh, just on the side of the highway out in the middle of the desert, but it's marked on trucker path. There's a little blue P. You pull off the highway and sure enough, there's a couple of guys sitting there. One thing you want to be careful about though, when you're in a place like that, if there's been a recent heavy rain, especially in the desert, you might wind up getting stuck in some mud. So look at the terrain. If there's other guys there, that's a good indication that it's a safe spot. Get that Trucker Path app. That's that's our best tool. One of the guys sitting there, the first thing he said is plan ahead. At the beginning of your trip, you're planning your stop, sit down, take a minute and do that. At the beginning of the day, even like, you know, you're on a long run and you know you're going to do so many hundred miles today. At the end of the day, where do you want to be? Pick out a spot and say, look, Here's, here's a truck stop. It's got 80 spots, you know, for parking. It's a good idea, right? But give yourself a backup. Maybe you're getting a traffic jam or construction or something and you can't make it there. So what's the one before that look like? What's the one after if you're having a great day and you want to push another 50 miles? So have, have a couple of options, but say, this is, this is my target. This is where I want to be at the end of the day. And that looks like a place where I'll be able to find a spot because the other part about planning ahead is giving yourself enough time, okay? Start early in the day so that you finish early in the day. If you sleep in and you take your time with breakfast and you get going about nine o'clock or eight o'clock in the morning, you're gonna get there at eight o'clock at night. And I'm telling you, these places start filling up at six, seven o'clock at night. You're gonna run out of spots. The later you wait, the less spots are gonna be. And there are guys that say, no, I run at night, you know, they like to drive in the in the moonlight. And when they get to a spot, they'll, you know, they'll find a spot and they'll they'll sleep all day. Yeah, three, four in the morning, people are starting to pull out and you're, you're gonna see some spots. But I've I've pulled into so many countless truck stops and then watched them fill up after I got there. Within a half an hour. 30 empty spots are gone and guys are starting to park in the fuel lane or whatever, like making up their spots, blocking other people, causing traffic jams at 2 a.m. Start early, finish early is your best bet. We try to shut down between five and seven o'clock every night and we'll find a place. And if we don't, we've still got time to get to the next spot and there'll be one there. So look at it that way. Plan your trip, plan your day, every day. And another thing, like I was saying, guys start getting creative with, with their parking, right? Like you might see, you pull into a rest stop and it's got, you know, all the trucks are lined up. 
And then if you look, there's a curb along the back of the place or maybe just before you exit the place, there's a nice wide opening. You park along the curb with the trees next to you or something, or maybe you're next to a dumpster or whatever. Sometimes there's extra spots there and guys get a little bit creative. So don't forget to check those out too. And you'll see how the guys doing it. You'll know what I mean when you go through those places and you see how they're, they're parked in all kinds of weird. The guys will park on the ramp coming off the freeway. I gotta tell you, I think that's dangerous. I think somebody coming up late, late at night, like in the middle of the night, and they're barreling through at 65, 70 miles an hour, and they say, oh, I'm gonna pull into this rest stop. And suddenly there's a bunch of trucks parked along that ramp going into the rest stop, and he might just hit you. That's, it'll, it'll be your fault, because you're parked there on the shoulder, on a ramp, where guys are coming in fast. So don't, don't expect other guys to see you and avoid you or whatever. Something bad's gonna happen, so be careful about that. The other thing is, you've got special places like casinos. You know, casinos love truckers, and a lot of them have huge parking lots. So look up casinos when you're planning your trip. They like you to come in and spend some money too. They might offer you a steak dinner. The restaurants are always good in casinos. They want you to gamble and lose your shirt too, so don't do that. But all I'm saying is they usually have pretty big parking lots and they love truck drivers. Some Cabela's we've seen will take trucks uh, in there. Uh, they have RV parking too at some Cabela's. Walmarts, we've stayed at Walmarts. Some of them will let you park there, some of them won't. The first thing I do is go on the, on the Google Maps, check the satellite image, and if you see some trucks parked there in the parking lot, you know you can get in and you know that somewhere in the past some truckers spent the night there. But the other thing to look at on that satellite picture is the entrances, how you get in there. Because a lot of times they have barricades where a 13 foot high truck can't get through. A lot of times they'll have these, these sort of islands with big trees planted and flowers and stuff. You try to get past those, you're going to run over them. So you got to really look carefully at that. What we also have is an app called All Stays ONP Walmart app. We used to use it when we were RVing and it will tell you the Walmarts where they welcome RVs to come in and stay the night. The guy that started Walmart is an RVer and he loves RVers to come in. But in a lot of cities, there are local ordinances that prohibit that. So they will not allow RVs. So this app will tell you which ones are friendly and which ones are prohibited. So you can get that app too, check that out. Check that satellite picture, real important when you're planning on, because then you'll see how the truck can get in and how the truck's gonna get back out. Don't get into a situation where you're jammed up, stopped, running over plants and and, and then you hit a car. Uh-uh, don't do that, don't do that. And all these Walmarts, they need trucks to deliver their stuff. So there's gotta be a truck entrance somewhere toward the back where you know they'll have their loading docks and stuff. That'll be your, your, your way in, but even those are tight in a lot of places. Another good suggestion, way stations. Uh, guys are scared of way stations because you might get inspected, you might get you know a ticket, or you know they'll, they'll scrutinize your truck a little. little but if you've, if you've done your pre-trips and you know you're in good shape and you've scaled your load, you got nothing to fear. But a lot of the way stations have truck parking. They'll even advertise it in some states. There'll be a big sign that says, hey, there's truck parking at this way station. You go in, you go past the scale, hang a U-turn, and there's like row after row of truck parking. We've seen so many of them. You don't usually have facilities. You're lucky if there's even an outhouse, but hey, it's a nice, safe, quiet spot. You know, you're not you're gonna have trees and birds singing, and you'll be under the moonlight, and it'll be a beautiful experience close to nature, camping out on your merry journey. So check out way stations. Right? And you can find those on Trucker Path. You can look at those way stations, and if you click on it, you'll even see a satellite picture and it'll show you the truck parking there. Get that app. Good idea. Company terminals and drop yards are another good thing. If you're if you're you know flying through and, and you happen to remember or you got a directory from your company or whatever and says, hey, this city actually has a terminal. You pull in there, there's gonna be free parking. There's gonna, you can even get some servicing done. There's gonna be showers and laundry and other guys that you know can tell you their stories or whatever. Old guys like me will keep you up all night. But yeah, company terminals, even the drop yards, a lot of the drop yards you can pull in and stay the night, you know? So don't forget that. The company you're working for, they should have a list available and you can tack that up somewhere in your truck and whenever you're stuck, you can look at that list. 
Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is if you, let's say, are at the end of the day, you get to a, a distribution center or a customer or whatever, a warehouse, something like that, and you're dropping off or you're just you're about to pick up your load there, a lot of customers will allow you to stay on their property. Crete is really cool about that because whenever they, they give you an address for you know where you're picking up and where you're delivering and right below that is a line saying overnight parking, yes or no. It's on every one of our load information uh, emails. Which means if you go there and you know it's the end of the day, you're out of time, whatever, and, and you want to take your take your break, take a rest or whatever, you can check that out and it'll say if you can stay there the night. Let's say you're you're scheduled to deliver there in the morning and you know you can stay the night, you get there at night, you sleep all night, and then you pull up to the dock in the morning. Bada boom. Now, if you don't work for Crete, I guess you have to call ahead or ask at the place, you know, once you're there. Hey, uh, is there some place where I can spend the night? You know, I'm really tired and all the truck stops are full right now. So that's another another good thing that you can, you can check out. It's another source. Another little trick is you pull in, you know, you check it out, even on Trucker Path, it'll say, because the, the truck drivers will update it. Like when they pull in there, uh, guys that are trying to help out will, will push a little button on the app on Trucker Path saying whether it's full or there's lots of spots or just a few. And if it says it's full, but it's very recent, it's still okay to pull in there. Even at the rest stop, sometimes you pull in and another guy would just be pulling out. Maybe he only stopped there to do a 30. Maybe he just had to go to the bathroom and he's gonna keep driving. So check them out. Sometimes it's worthwhile to pull in, do a circuit. Maybe some guy is just pulling out. Even though it, it looks full, a spot might open up. It's a possibility. At some of the truck stops, you have paid parking, like the pilots and the TAs and that. You can reserve spots ahead of time. And that's an idea if you want to pay for it. Now, if you have a lot of points, I checked this out last night. We were at a pilot or a Flying J and they had reserved spots. So I went in and I said, look, I, if I wanted one of these spots and I could reserve it on the road before I even get here, could I use my points that I have with you? And they said, yeah, this is, looks like it's like 1700 points. Well, I had over 2000 on my, on my plan. So I could have actually gotten a reserved spot, paid for it with my points, so it didn't cost me anything out of my pocket. If you keep filling up there often enough, you'll accrue a lot of points, right? And then you can use them when you're in a bind, you know, or if you want to pay cash, if you're that desperate, you know, you, you fork out some cash, you got a place to stay. So look for reserved spots at some of the truck stops. And that's another good one. If you're, you know, if you really need something. Like I said, in some, some areas of the desert, I've just pulled off at an exit and there's been like a dirt parking lot and I've seen other trucks and I know I can I can safely park there and you're in good company. It's not a secure spot. Like these truck stops have lights and cameras and all that and your terminals are really safe. There's fences and things. But if you're in the company of other trucks, it should be pretty safe. You guys can watch out for each other out there, you know? And the last thing I want to say about this is if you do run out of time, if it's so late and everything's full and you pulled in, as this has happened to us, you pull into a, a truck stop and everything's full and you drive another 20 minutes and everything's full and your clock's running out and you're in a panic, you can go to personal conveyance. And so if your clock runs out, you've used up all your driving time and you've used up your 14 hour clock or whatever, go to personal conveyance and you type in safe haven. Like they wanna know, where are you going? Are you going home? Are you going like this or that? Safe haven means you're looking for a place to stay for the night and it will be okay. You won't get you won't get a, a warning or anything from for your hours of service being violated and you're still driving. They don't want you doing that and moving a load closer to the destination because you're actually going beyond your allowed hours and trying to make more money on it. But if you can show that everything was full and you had to keep going because you couldn't find a place to stay. Just don't drive past like the next six and then check one, you know? You gotta, you gotta show you're faithfully trying to find a safe place to stay and then you're okay on personal conveyance for as long as it takes to find a safe haven. That's all I wanted to say on this subject. I know it's something on everybody's mind every day out here. I would really like to know if anybody out there has any other ideas that they can share with everybody else because this is a common problem we all have. As far as that trucker path, there is a free version. You download it to your phone. It'll show you all kinds of cool stuff. You wouldn't believe the information on there. And there is an upgraded version 
you pay something for it, but check our link down below and we'll get you a 10% discount. So give me a thumbs up, give me lots of comments down there. Let's see what you've got to say. Hit that subscribe button. For the joy of trucking, I will say good night for now from my nice safe parking spot here at the Love Shack. Bye for now.